Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I feel like the overwhelming energy for this month is, you know, figuring out things that have happened from the past, whatever we have done in the past, whether or not it has been working and figuring out, you know, what we can take away in terms of best practices, in terms of lessons learned so that we can move on ahead. So I feel like many of you are coming into this month, the energy overwhelmingly is um, you're not starting things just yet, but you're kind of like on the end of stages. OK, so it's like wrapping up existing projects, doing things over, waiting on things to finalize before you can have a uh, decision, before you can have insights as to which direction to move on ahead with. I'm sensing that some of you have, um, I, I feel like have, you know, left an old phase of life behind. And for some of you, it could be, you know, you, you were married, you were dealing with separation or a divorce, and you're trying to leave that behind. And now you're emerging in a new phase of your life where you might be single. So I do feel some transformative things happening within the past three months where you are starting over. You're having like a, that, that, you know, the epiphany moment to, allow you to see what you've been doing so far whether or not it's working for you whether or not it's in your greater good or for your greater good and moving forward you want to know what you know the best option is for you what's the best sense of direction and what's going to allow you to get where you need to be so i feel there's a lot of you know waiting for things wrapping things up and um be finalizing everything else so then you can begin the actual new phase in your life so coming into this month and especially the, the energy that you're bringing with you from um, February, we have here the temperance card and the temperance card is basically um, patience, moderation. It's sort of like uh, moderating your emotions, moderating your thoughts and don't room, spend too much time ruminating over things. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, that message and it's usually associated with the five of cups, but I do see it in this card. It's sort of like, um, you know, don't cry over spilled milk, whatever has not been working for you. Um, write it off as a lost cause, write it off as, you know, just, um, they're, they're saying, um, you know, pick your battles and whatever that cannot be salvaged, whatever that cannot be won. I feel that you are coming into the, that whole acceptance stage and I feel that you're ready to move ahead. Okay. So this is a card about you know taking stock and um figuring out what we have currently so that we can decide how to best utilize the things the resources at our disposal and how to you know um stringently monitor what we have as well as how we can bring what we have into the future with us um i'm feeling that many of you right now um have recently apply for a new job or have started a new job. So in your work sector, we do have the sun here. This is success, achievements, and public recognition. This is a very good card that basically indicates a win. So I feel like if you've been waiting for uh, some work, it's gonna be coming through for the uh, March timeframe, which is a really good thing to have. And I feel like you might've applied for several, for several jobs that you felt, you know, Oh, all of these were a good fit for me and two of them might have come into the picture and you're trying to decide between the two so I'm sensing here that you know you were waiting on decisions for the best job offer unfortunately two of them have come through and the the other three you're not really hearing from them so I'm sensing that's what's happening or the other of uh, two the other three jobs you haven't heard from them but I do feel you have two under your belt for this month okay two projects two new jobs two new contacts uh, two new endeavors that you can in undertake for this month so I feel like you're trying to decide and you're trying to wrap up things and you're trying to you know figure out uh, which one do I want? What's the best? Uh, which job will utilize my skills the best? But I do see for those of you who are not looking for work, there's a lot of recognition. There's a lot of focus on you, uh, which indicates to me, um, you know, gaining something like gaining an achievement, gaining, um, gaining strides in your career and also making great um, 
making a great like public impact on other people in your work environment. There's a lot of support coming through from managers, from supervisors, as well as authority figure. So I feel like whatever you've been doing, you might notice that you've been doing the right thing. You stuck to your guns and I feel that you're coming into like a very buoyant state of being as it pertains to like, you know, people trusting you with additional projects, getting the recognition that you deserve. So this looks very good and it also indicates a lot of warmth and harmony coming into the uh, work environment as well. Um, I feel that many of you are thinking about, you know, like uh, possibly taking on two jobs because the responsibilities within the household environment is uh, calling for more. So there might be new uh, additional people in your family. Or there might be some type of a shift or a movement, people coming in, people leaving. If you've been subleasing, for example, subletting an apartment or even a room, I feel that there might be, you know, uh, additional costs because people might be leaving. So I feel that some of you are even flirting with the idea of, you know, taking on additional responsibilities, taking on new jobs. And the additional responsibilities will give you a lot of recognition in the career front, but it might not have, um, it might not allow you the leisure free time in order to you know relax at home and to take care of responsibilities in your home environment so there's an element of a shortage of time and um, not enough time for all the things that you want to do when it comes to you know your public image and as well as accumulating money all right um what i'm sensing as well in your finance sector we have here the four of swords in the reverse the Four of Swords in the reverse, especially for those who are working on a client basis, this is kind of like uh, looking through your contacts, looking through, you know, the traditional Rolodex. Um, whatever offers that have not come through from the past, you want to call up, you call up your old contacts, call up clients from the past and see if they need, you know, like um, if they need to, if they, if you have services that you can offer them, find out what they're lacking right now, what they need help with. And I do feel some um, revisiting old contacts will be really beneficial for you to allow you to move on and to allow you to, you know, get the portfolio, get those uh, contracts ready. Okay. So if you're in sales, if you're in commission, if you're working on a client or a project basis, I do feel that they're going to be coming back to you. All right. So it's uh, indicative of a very busy time that is coming. So there's no uh, time for rest and rest restoration. You are gonna have to, to hit the ground running for this month and I feel that the energy is really going to pick up the later part of the month and I'm inclined to say like the second or the third week where this energy is going to be quite um, momentous. Like it feels to me like there's a lot of energies associated with it and there's also a lot of movement happening for you where you might have a lot of contacts. You need to be present to pick up the phone, to answer those calls, to follow back, even play phone tag with people, okay? So the first two weeks seems to me to be a little bit slow and you're kind of like, oh, I'm not really sure about this and I feel that things are gonna pick up from there, so not to worry, okay? Um, what I'm also seeing as well is um, I'm not seeing a lot of travel happening for you overall for this month that is of the leisure kind. I do feel a lot of work that you need to, you know, wrap up on and a lot of things that you need to take care of in the home environment as well. So I feel like, you know, reorganizing your home, um, taking things out of storage, clearing up clutter, for example, keeping um, an orderly home. So dishes might be piling up and it's really important for you to... Uh, set aside time in order to take care of these things and I just feel like a lot of you want quiet time a lot of you want alone time and um, there might you might be in high demand as well in your social circle so it's really important that you make time to you know keep your environment very orderly because you are innately a homebody and if your environment is in disarray it's really hard for you to focus and it's really hard for you to have that peace of mind when you are you know in your sanctuary in your haven okay so just something to be mindful about in terms of the communication let me just talk about this because the cards associated with it we have here the ten of swords and the ten of swords is a situation where we might not have acted at our best okay there might have been some type of conflict uh, possibly the end of February coming into this month where you you feel as if that situation wasn't fair I was pushed into a corner and I couldn't 
uh, there was only one way that it could have transpired. So you felt like something was outside of your control. You felt almost as if you were put in a position where you had to say what you had to say, even though it might have been like a harsh truth. It was like something they're saying, like a bitter pill to swallow. So I feel like something needed to be said and it didn't make you popular, but you felt that it needed to be said. You felt it was the right thing. And in that environment, you felt like you couldn't affect the outcome. There was only one outcome that could have resulted from it. And um, I'm sensing for some of you, it might have been with work colleagues. They were doing things where you felt that... Um, it wasn't for the interest of the whole group. It wasn't for the greater good. And I do sense that, you know, you stepped up and you said your piece. And I feel that that propelled you into, you know, the public limelight. And I do feel that you, you felt that that was the best possible outcome. And so you're dealing with, you know, having to heal the uh, communication with whoever it was, the group or the person that this happened to. So you're doing some damage control and you're so also trying to still convince them of the merits of your actions. Okay. So I do feel that was something in the past that you're still dealing with right now. And you're still going to have to see them on a regular basis because, you know, if it's a work colleague, okay. And then for others of you, um, it results here in a financial, um, financial like a joint custody issue that you have with another person i honestly see an energy of um especially for those of you who are married or who have like uh children with another person i do feel problems coming through on the um with, with in-laws okay so it's like child rearing practices like differences in child rearing methods differences in um how my family is run versus how your family is run. So I feel like ideological differences where you can't see eye to eye with another person and rather than compromising, because I feel like they were trying to push you to do something that they wanted and to alleviate the responsibilities from their end. And you felt that was not fair. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to allow the other person, the other side to step all over me. Um, I'm seeing issues with like um custody issues as well with um you know which school to send the child to and um i feel like you felt the responsibilities were dumped on you and you felt like the way that they approached that was not considerate and was not fair so there's some unfairness um that came out or will be coming out for this month and you are just going to need to you know uh stick to your guns and so I feel like this might have been something that happened since uh, December of last uh, 2016. And it's dragging on into this month. If it was something from then, I feel that it's going to resurface for this month. And you're going to need to state your case and you're going to need to stand by your truth. Okay. Because I feel like somebody is trying to remove themselves and alleviate their own responsibilities at the expense of your own emotional health so that that's not a fair situation you really need to speak up for yourself here um i'm seeing that um some of you are also very frustrated not being able to affect the types of change that you want so you might um, be in a work environment where you just feel like you, you just feel like, okay, this project is really great. We should get funding for it. But, um, you know, for whatever reason, there could be, you know, from the higher chain of command, they're saying that there isn't enough funding for that. So you're going to need to solicit private uh, financiers or there isn't enough funding for that. So we're going to have to, you know, scrap this project. And so I feel that, you know, before they're scrapping the projects, I feel that you're fixing up all the details and you're trying to push it along with a different company or with a different um financier with a different financial backing so you're trying to fluff it up the best that you can because you believe in it unfortunately there just isn't f enough funding in order to push something through okay um just going back to for those of you who are looking for work overall it is going to be coming so they're really telling you to be patient and i feel like you know you might be saying I've been patient for months and I'm getting very worried. And um, I do feel that, you know, hang on to this hope because there is going to be something coming through here in your work sector that will alleviate the, the worries and the anxieties. Okay. So keep at it. And um, I do feel it's going to, 
it's going to be in the picture for you. Okay, you guys. Um, let's talk about relationships. We have here the moon. And uh, the moon basically indicates a situation coming to light. Okay, news being revealed, um, information coming to the fore, as well as things that you might have an inkling about or things that you might have had suspicions about. I do feel all of these things are being uh, brought to light. Okay, like like um, they're being revealed, and whatever has been troublesome or whatever you couldn't really wrap your head around or you couldn't really pin your fingers on. I feel that you're going to get a lot of clarity, okay? So I, I see the fog lifting for many of you. And um, I also feel as well, um, because your creative house is highly lit up, just be very, very careful about pregnancy. So if you're in a relationship, for example, and if, if you're expecting there's high energy here for, you know, conception, if you're also in a relationship um, where you're not expecting, you know, be careful to protect yourself accordingly. I also feel there might be, you know, romantic gestures as well coming through from people who might have, you know, like uh, romantic feelings for you. So I do feel there's going to be some news revelation coming through on the romantic front as it relates to, you know, your uh, the people that you hang out with on a regular basis, as well as attraction, um, you know, flirtation, attraction coming through on the um, on the work front. So if you're getting like very, very positive reception, I do feel a few people are going to be stepping up, telling you how they feel about you. And then likewise, even if you're in a relationship, I feel like there's still a lot of flirtation and, and, and great energy um, bubbling up from with co co-workers, supervisors, and people that you're collaborating with in the work environment. Just um, be careful about communication. Be very, very clear that if you are in a relationship, be very clear that, you know, I'm flattered, but no thanks or not right now. Okay. So just make it very clear. This is a card about, you know, there's only one way that this can go. So if you're in a relationship, uh, don't entertain that flirtation. Okay. And then likewise, um, if you're single and you're not interested, don't entertain the flirtation. Okay. So this is kind of like, uh, you need to decide like, yes or no, there isn't a, a way to backtrack and there isn't a way, there isn't a middle ground here. Okay. So Cancers, the um, the energy is very, very uh, decisive for this month. So make the most of it, okay? I feel that it's going to be a little bit... Um it might be a little bit challenging because I feel like you, you know, you, you want to take your time. You want to fully assess, but I feel that you might've been on the fence for a little bit too long about some really major decisions. And so you might need to make, you know, decisions when they are halted on or when they're procrastinated on, I feel that they're going to be made for you by the universe. So it's really important for you to be in alignment and you know be ahead of the game be ahead of the the times and try to make these decisions on your own otherwise they will be made for you okay i am seeing a lot of you deciding on a relationship to see whether or not it is worth continuing okay so to see whether or not it is feasible it's practical and it's viable uh for the long-term prospects of a relationship and i feel like there is a very strong emotional connection almost like a psychic link between you and a partner and because of that it's really hard to break even though the relationship itself might have been might have been uh, quite tumultuous or even difficult there's still this great sense of uh, love harmony uh, this psychic link between you and another person and because of that you see the best in them and um, if the truths are coming through um, being revealed by in-laws or being revealed by your partner I still feel that, you know, you, you still want to take the time to let it sink in. Okay. So don't make any rash decisions. So your emotional state, I feel that it's going to be heavily affecting the choices that you make. So get yourself grounded. Okay. Um, do deep breathing exercises to get yourself a little bit more centered because I feel like you're a little bit frazzled coming through for this month. Um, moving forward, we're looking at your career uh, sector right now. I'm sensing a lot of you, um, you, you have a, you know, when you were younger, let's just say a few years ago, um, I feel like you might have been um, trying to head out on a specific path. Or, and I feel that a lot of you might have done a lot of different odd jobs. So you have a lot of skills and uh, these skills are all separate. So you don't know how they all can, you know, 
add to your resume, add to your job performance in the current situation because, you know, they're all very, very different skill sets. And so whatever it is, um, we learn different skills from different jobs. So don't downplay your accomplishments. Okay. So I feel like, you know, you might be applying for an accounting job, for example, and you used to be, I don't know, um, and you used to be a waitress. So all of these skills are, skills are always transferable. It's just um, knowing the right way to market yourself, okay? Knowing the right way to talk about the skills that you have accumulated as a waitress and how that is also transferable into the accounting uh, realm. So I do feel like a little bit of thinking outside the box, creative thinking, rather than, you know, just um, straightforward thinking. Creative thinking is going to be necessary so that you can market yourself. And I do sense that a lot of you are in a position where you are downplaying your skills. You don't feel like you have all the skills necessary. You don't think that you're a great orator. You don't think you have the charisma or even, you know, the, the uh, technological know-how in order to do a job well. So you have your eyes on some, some very uh, distant, you know, plans for a specific career. And you feel like you have taken many, many detours in order to get where you need to be. And you're kind of berating yourself, kind of like, I'm wasting time. When am I going to get there? When am I going to be able to get that dream job? What do I need to do? So you, you might be at a loss as to, you know, how do I achieve that career? How do I get myself there? And I feel like, you know, you, you, you know, A to B, but you don't know the logical steps as to how to get there just yet. And you feel like time is ticking. And so I, I, I do sense that, you know, you're being too hard on yourself right now, cancers. So there is a time for everything and the pieces will fall into place. Okay. Just don't worry. Currently in your present uh, work situation, there's a lot of success to be had. And so I feel like, you know, just allow it to naturally unfold so that sooner or later you will get to where you need to be. But right now, just maybe there are skills that need to be cultivated in this present environment. And once you have cultivated it, once you have learned these lessons here, there will be kind of like a bridge to allow you to get ahead. Okay. So don't get ahead of yourself. Wrap things up right now deal with whatever is coming through in the present moment uh don't take this work situation for granted there's still a lot of skills building to be learned and to move on ahead i'm seeing a lot of you are in a situation where you feel like you don't have you're doubting your capabilities but you feel like you don't have the technical skills in order to get that dream job so this is traditionally somebody that you know needs um to upgrade their skills when it shows up as a magician in the reverse it's sort of like you have all the pieces of the puzzle right there, but you don't really know how to assemble. And so that means, you know, um, getting a skills upgrade, uh, enrolling yourself in a technical institution like vocational school, or even going to get, you know, higher education, like a college degree, a bachelor's degree, associate's degree. And, you know, I say that like it's very easy. There are a lot of constraints in your environment, but I feel like this is the month in which you're doing a lot of long-term planning. So I feel that a lot of you are focused on this arena, okay? And I'm sensing as well, there might be some some work um, workplace, you know, vouchers, like school vouchers or even... Um, uh, tuition assistant. So look into those. Okay. If you're with a bigger company, usually they would offer, you know, skills upgrade, additional training for their employees. Um, they might even pay for you to go to school, like financial assistance or even tuition assistance in order for you to upgrade your skills. And I do sense that you want to do a little bit of digging to see if that's available in the corporation that you're working for. If not, if there's another corporation along your same uh, industry that you're interested in. So look around and do a little bit more digging. And I feel that you you're kind of frustrated because you don't know where to look. So do a little bit of lig, uh, digging into those, um, you know, tuition assistance programs and see if your company or another company sponsors it and see if you can get your foot in the door with that company. Because I feel like that's going to be like, you know, killing two birds with one stone here. Um, for those in school as well, I do feel there's a lot of waiting here, waiting on decisions from an institution, waiting to see if you're going to get in. So I do sense, you know, April being a big month in which all of these decisions are going to be made. Okay. So just uh, hang on tight. Okay. Just hang in there. 
And so I'm seeing a lot of, you know, wrapping up things and tying up loose ends, waiting. So I don't feel things starting just yet, but I do feel, you know, April, uh, especially May as well. Um, you have high potent energies for new beginnings, okay? Um, first of all, for those of you who have walked away from a relationship, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right track. You're going to move to a safer environment where your emotions will start to subside, okay? And especially for those of you who have, um, you know, recently gotten into an argument with somebody, I do feel that your the, the tension is going to start to de-escalate uh, towards the end of this month. So not to worry either, okay? So I feel like this is the month in which is more uh, inwardly focused on your emotional state as well as what you can do in order to get yourself right back on track, okay? So it's a beautiful energy. We have a lot of dating, a lot of attraction happening for you, but I feel that it's an inwardly focused type of a month for you to, you know, wrap up loose ends in your life rather than branching out with new people. All right. Also, I'm going to leave out the moon in the reverse and use that as we transition into the next part of your reading. So we're going to go into your love, romance and relationship reading here. I've got a lot of singles um, coming through right now. So I have a lot of energies of singles coming in, or at least people who are, you know, uh, dating, but not in a serious committed relationship just yet. Um, what I do feel is I feel like a lot of you too are re-examining the options that you have around you as well as re-examining the, the person that you are, you know, the person that's kind of like, highest on your uh, radar romantic radar right now and to see what options you want to move ahead with so i i'm feeling you know taking stock I'm, I'm feeling a lot of you are also getting cold feet and you might just want to play the field you might not have you know a specific person that you're interested in uh, you might just want to play the field so i feel like you know finance and money and career are one of the are the the things that you really want to focus on right now so you might not have the time for love relationships so let me talk about this first the crowning energy for those of you who are single here we have the six of cups and the six of cups is kind of like the um the idealism card looking at things and seeing only the good and not the bad so i feel like um for those of you who are single right now or who are at least, you know, dating, but not in a serious relationship. So that's considered single. Um, I feel like you have somebody that is um, on the forefront of your mind. This is somebody from the past you've been dealing with for possibly the past six months. And um, the Six of Cups deals with a situation where, you know, there might have been a very strong soul connection. There might have been uh, like a very strong, you know, emotional connection with another person. However, I do feel that many of you, the other person has moved on or you are deciding to move on from that person, okay? So they, they've been occupying your thoughts for quite some time, but this is the month in which the reality starts to hit. And I feel that you're, you're realizing this is a, a great relationship, but it has, you know, um, been past its expiration date. And so we're going to need to move on and figure out, you know, how we can date other people and so on and so forth. So I feel like a lot of you are coming into uh, this month uh, single. Some of you could be uh, linked up with another person that has a child. And you can also be linked up with somebody that you have a child with. Okay, so um, the other person could be male or female. But I feel like there's a sharing of children. And I feel that it was a relationship that could have had, um, that, that could have been, that could have led to marriage. So it might have been like an engagement, a broken marriage, a broken engagement, a separation, or even a relationship that started off too fast, but there's a child involved in the, in the picture somehow from their end or from your end, or you both share a child, but that relationship didn't work out. Okay. So you might be thinking about this person right here. Um, they seem to me to be very, extremely attractive, very, very beautiful, like beautifully dressed and very fertile. Um, so, you know, men can be fertile too. 
So this is not just a female energy, but they're saying like for some reason it was hard either religiously or just uh, philosophically. It, it was hard to have a relationship with this person because the things that they want and the things that you want uh, were very different. And I'm also seeing family, individual families uh, interfering in the relationship. So going back to that message that I mentioned about in-laws, I feel like there was a lot of meddling, a lot of um interference from people outside of the relationship and so even though you have you hold that person in high esteem i feel that it, it was irreconcilable and you had to move on from it which brings us to the present situation we have here the nine of coins which is a lot of you are just very focused on your financial situation uh, you might have you know a child with another person and you're trying to build up your uh, wealth your resources so that you can be a good mother or a good father to your child and I feel like many of you are just you know newly single um, putting yourself out there having fun and I feel as well your financial resources are stable right now and you are in the process of looking to you know fill in the void like you want a relationship and we have as well the uh, Emperor showing up in the reverse position and the Emperor showing up in the reverse position and this card for some of you there might be some holdups. So we have the Empress and the Emperor. There might be like relationship patterns from the past that you're trying to break. Either if, uh, either like dealing with control issues, dealing with power struggles, or dealing with, you know, somebody that you might have really cared about and there were always uh, family interfering in the relationship. And I'm also seeing existing patterns in your own relationships that you're trying to break. So for example, and this is just an example, um, I'm seeing that if your mother and your father treated each other a specific way, that might have been unhealthy. If the relationship um, was, you know, the, the father was the breadwinner and the mother was the one um, in the kitchen all the time. I feel like you want to break these relationship norms. And like uh, vice versa, we do have, you know, a few uh, stay at home fathers as well. If the relationship dynamics was like that, where one partner um, wielded a lot of power in the relationship and the other person felt powerless, I feel that you want to break these relationship cycles. And you have been cognizant that these things have affected your relationship in the past, have allowed a lot of meddlesome um, people into the relationship. I feel that you're moving ahead and you're becoming a lot more aware so that when it comes and when it creeps up again in your next relationship, you're going to know how to handle it. Okay. So I, I feel like a lot of overcoming karma, overcoming like patterns, overcoming unhealthy things to allow you to move on and have new relationships. The foundation is something that um, happened in the month of February and you're bringing it into the month of March. So this is something that you already know. You have full, um, you have, you have like, um, you, you have full knowledge of this happening right now. We have here the world and the world basically indicates um, opportunities that might have dwindled in the love department. Okay. So for whatever reason, you might've put yourself out there, but the options that were coming through, they didn't really meet your expectations. The people might've been, um, emotionally unready, or they might've had their own emotional baggage to deal with. They might've also been like, um, they, they were, I, I feel like people were a little bit more wishy-washy. They didn't really fight hard for you or they didn't really seem interested so I, I do feel like you know there might have not been a lot of options available and as a result uh, lack of success in the dating environment so I feel like some of you might have been dating for the past two months for example and you met people that might have been great but I feel like that spark that attraction uh, whatever you felt for the previous person here it, it, it didn't come in with the options that were available for you to date and so you might decide you know uh, the options are not available maybe I should stay single for a little bit so I, I feel like that's what's happening for some of you and then for others as well in a solid stable relationship I do feel that there are some restrictions when it comes to being able to meet with each other. There might be a little bit of strife in the relationship, some information being revealed um, concerning you and your partner in the trajectory that you know you both are trying to head forward. Um, I do feel overall, 
if there are problems creeping up, your partner or you, you're, you're not going to be arguing from like a, an ego standpoint, you know, wanting to be right. I feel that you're more willing to compromise here. So overcoming, you know, like challenges, that's going to be apparent as well. And um, I'm feeling some of you might be involved with this person here. This is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo. And um, I feel there is going to be communication coming through from this person. And I feel like this person is acting out in a way where they are doing a little bit of attention seeking. And so you might think that, you know, you, you might be in a relationship with them. You might have just started dating them. And I feel, I feel almost like there's going to be a lot of communication coming through. They're doing a little bit of attention seeking. You're very busy with work. There might be accusations of like, oh, are you going out with other people? Why haven't you, you know, responded to me? Why aren't you emotionally available to me? You need to have a discussion with them. But I do sense that because they are showing more of their needier side as well as their softer side, I feel that it, it, it will be good for you to have a discussion so that it can clear up some things in the air with that person, okay? And for those that are brandly single, not dating anybody, what we have here as well is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This is somebody that rushes in um, too fast. So I feel like while there is a lot of attraction, you want to take it slow and you want to be careful. So if you're meeting this person for the first time this month, um, do your best to try to slow things down a little bit because I feel like they have some emotional baggage from their end that they need to clear up. So you're not getting the whole story, okay? And through interaction with them, you're going to start to see that maybe they're not ready yet for a relationship, okay? So just be careful about that, all right, Cancers? Now, I do wish you all the best for this month. Um, I'll be back for the mid-month reading and hopefully the, the energy will clear up, okay? Um, take care of yourself. I'll be back for the mid-month reading. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.